and welcome back to my channel. This is Didsbury Art Studio and I'm Sally and in today's video we're doing some fabric slashing. I've got some really nice sari fabric that I've cut up and I'm going to use in between some black organza and this is developing on from the project that I've been doing on natural form. So shall we get into it? I've got this sari silk which I think is very similar to some of the colours that are being used in this little viewfinder section that I've got here. So what I want to do is use these and we're going to do a fabric slashing piece based on this one. So I'm going to use all this black organza that I've got. Layer that over the top. I've now separated these out into colours and I'm going to cut them down because I don't want them to be left in long strips. Next what I'm going to do is use this um, piece that's there's different patterns on it and then I'm going to draw it out with a chalk pencil onto my organza fabric. Those are my basic shapes that are taken from inspo from my little viewfinder section. But now what I want to do is add more lines in there so that I'll have more cutting out to do so that it'll show the different materials that are going to pop through. So that's it, ready to insert the fabric. I'm going to coordinate where I want the fabric to go inside my piece. So I've got two layers of fabric, as you can see, of the organza, and I've drawn out my design. And now I'm gonna pop in the colors that I see in my viewfinder over here. Well, some of the colors anyway. So we are now ready to sew it all together. Before I go on the sewing machine, I decided to tack, after I'd clipped around the sides, I decided to tack down, so that's just a large runner stitch from one end to the other and across here and two through, the, oh, three through the middle, sorry. Um, just to hold it together, because it's gone quite thick and I don't want the pieces of fabric to slip around inside before I sew it. Next what I want to do is choose a couple of different thread colours to, to use when I'm sewing this down. Now I could stick with black, I probably will use some black to keep it subtle, but apart from that I'm going in with probably a blue going on up here and then I'm looking at maybe Let's go with that green over here and whoops, maybe that yellow to be used over there. Go with some red down here and maybe some purples, pink. So those are the sort of colours I'm going to use. I'm going to start in the middle, so I put my presser foot down in the middle. I'm using pink in this middle section 
and I'm going to use a zigzag stitch that's tiny in width and close together in stitch. So it's on 0.5. You can see there is go straight over the top of the tacking stitch and the tacking stitch is a temporary stitch as I've said before and it can just be cut out later so you can just sew over the top of it. So when I'm restarting in a position on the sewing machine on the fabric I have to just manually use the needle to see which direction it's going to head in. So at the moment I'm using the handle at the side and I'm just noticing which side it's going to go. And you can always just start off manually with your first stitch, drop your needle in, drop your presser foot. And when you're doing a curve, as I've said all along in my other videos, that you sort of head forwards, leave your needle in, lift up your presser foot and just swivel the fabric so you never leave the spot that you started sewing with, and then you'll get a more consistent curve. That's where we're up to at the minute, and these clips are doing a fine job of keeping the fabric in. If they don't in little areas, then I'll just pop a few more clips in. But right now I want to add some more pink in this area because I've looked at my little viewfinder and I can see that there's quite a bit of pink leading into reds and purples down here. And as you can see, I've started in the middle so that it really flattens the piece out as we work further out of the rectangle. And next I'm going to put it on a time lapse because there's going to be a lot of thread changing that I'm doing in different colours and moving it around to sort of start in the middle, move out and get things going. I'm going to crack on. minute I'm just looking at where the colours are and the placement of them so I've switched to this colour and popping these colours in.
next up what we've got to do is start cutting the little areas out so let's start over here so just put your scissors through the fabric like so and because it's organza fabric it's really quite thin and straightforward to cut through with so I've just got a small pair of sharp scissors and I'm just going to, what I'm trying to just be careful with is not to snip the fabric that's underneath. So I'm just trying to be really careful there. You see that? Um, it's so easy to cut through the thin layer of organza. The, the, the scissors are literally slipping through. I'm going to show you. So you can see it's starting to come through like that. So I'm just going to carry on snipping through everything and then you, I will show you the results. I finally cut through all of it and now it needs to go in the wash so that we can fray up some of this organza fabric. So that's it after it's been washed and I've given it a little bit of a little bit of a, a scrub and a brush with my hands and you can get it kind of fluffed up. So hope you like it. So I hope you enjoyed my video today and that it kind of made sense with how I'm sort of developing some fabric samples into, well, translating them from natural forms into textiles. So I hope you enjoyed it and perhaps you'll have a go at the techniques yourself. And if you haven't subscribed already and you enjoyed this video today, then do subscribe. I would be very happy to have you as a viewer. And also, if you enjoyed this video, it really helps me out if you hit the like button. That would be super duper. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves this week and I'll see you soon. Bye. See you later.